In Freeport, teachers may be informed when a student is dealing with some heavier stuff at home. The Handle with Care program is up for discussion at Freeport City Hall tonight. A Freeport could join Ogle County Schools with its Sheriff's Department and RPS 205, who works with the Rockford Police with their program. Now, Ogle County and Rockford have already implemented the trauma-informed approach to education. The purpose is to have teachers and administrators know when students have popped up in a police report, which would mean the student's performance may be impacted. Tonight, the topic is up for discussion at Freeport City Council in committee tonight as the members will discuss how to best move forward ahead of a vote. And 13 WREX's Emily McMahon joins us live now at Freeport City Hall. And Emily, where is the school district at now with the program? The school district says they are hoping to be able to bring this to all of their students as they believe it will benefit them from both a safety perspective and as well as being proactive, something they say that their students and staff can both benefit from as well. The district hopes adding Handle With Care will not only increase awareness for their staff, but also increase safety for students. It helps us get supports in place. You know, um, this also ties into school safety initiative a bit, right, where um, we, know, we know one factor that can uh, be associated with the student's decision to engage in an act of, of violence potentially is the fact is the impact of stressors in the home. Here is how it will work. If a student is involved in an incident, the Freeport Police Department will inform the district while keeping most of the details confidential, but still allowing the district to be involved and aware. No information is shared um, except the child's name and three words, uh, handle with care. And so one of the things that has happened in districts that have chosen to implement this is it becomes an invitation for further collaboration. And Based on past situations, the district believes this can help them to have a more proactive approach for students' needs. We've had, um, you know, many instances over the years, too, where maybe we've learned after the fact something they've been going through and we're like, oh, if we would have known, we could have, you know, been a little softer today. The teacher might have done things a little differently. And the benefits extend beyond just students, as they hope to provide teachers with the necessary information to make the space a safe one for all students. They're going to be appreciative of this, and they understand that some things are confidential and they're not really going to be looking for more info, but like, thank you for letting me know that kind of thing so I can, you know, take good care of this kid today. The discussion is set to begin right here at Freeport City Hall in just under an hour. Reporting from downtown Freeport, Emily McMinn, 13 WREX. This is an important initiative there. Thanks, Emily. We'll see.